Yo, what's up, Shredders? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we will be going over the extremely hot topic currently of mesh swaps. We will be going over the process start to finish. So if you're not familiar with mesh swapping, don't worry. I will break it down for you step by step. And hey, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I do post tutorials quite frequently. So if you would like to be in the loop, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, uh, let's jump right into it. All right, so first things first, head down to the description here in the video and you'll find a file we'll be working with today. Um, I already have that downloaded here. It's called the mesh swap tutorial. Uh, I'm going to extract here and then drag this over to my desktop. Um, you can put it wherever you will remember it. It doesn't necessarily need to be your desktop, but I'm going to do that for the sake of this video. All right, so now that that is open, it does have four folders within here. Uh, UABEA, that is the program we will be using to swap the meshes. I do have a vanilla file here that we can use to locate and swap our meshes. I have pre-saved all of the custom meshes that are currently available to you. We have baggy pants, crew neck, North Face jackets, there are two different types. There is the just regular down jacket and then the puffier puffer jacket. And the t-shirt file. With the t-shirt file, it does come with gloves that work for that mesh. Uh, a bigger head that looks a little bit more natural, as well as bigger goggles to fit on the bigger head. And then the fourth folder you can use to save the file once you are done with the mesh swap so you can have it in a location that you can always go back to. I do not recommend saving to the vanilla file uh, just in case you want to keep a copy of it for later use um, or reset everything back to normal. You have this available. So now that we have gone over this, let's jump into locating and swapping our meshes. All right. So in the number one folder, UABEA, that stands for Unity Asset Bundle Extractor Avalonia. We'll click on that, scroll all the way down until we see the UABE Avalonia.exe. Let's open that up. Now in this window, um, we really, a quick shortcut would be to go to this vanilla file, minimize that a bit, and simply drag the vanilla file over to this. You'll select memory and info. So now we have our file open i recommend first clicking on name to sort by name scroll all the way down to the mesh that you'd like to replace for the sake of this tutorial we are going to replace the baggy pants so if we go over into our custom meshes folder now go to baggy pants there's a baggy mesh that was previously released, uh, which a lot of textures have been made for. And there was a new baggy that has just been released. And there isn't a whole lot of options just yet for that. Um, so let's go ahead and do just the regular baggy mesh. And this DAT file is what is going to be replacing our current in-game meshes. So to know what mesh we want to swap out, we're first going to go down to the pants channel. And take a look here. You see this places the DLC meshes, which is pants 008. So disclaimer there, you do need to have the DLC purchased in order to use these files. Um, so in addition to the mesh swaps, you also need to download this texture file here and drag that into the game. So that's a very important step that is not related to the mesh swap directly. Um, this is a whole nother process that is just how you add regular texture files to the game. So let's go ahead and look for one that we want to use. Sure, we'll do these baggy DLC. So this comes in a DLC. It's a little bit different than the normal downloads. All right, so if we open the zip folder up, see, these are the texture file names. So these also do need to be dragged into your standalone Windows folder. Um, but you'll see here, it does say pants 008. So that is the mesh that we want to replace. And it's going to be replacing the 540 ND DLC checker variant one pant. So let's look for that. So now back in Unity Asset Bundle Extractor, we will look for pants 008. Here we go, pants 008 LOD. So now to replace this mesh, we'll scroll down to import raw 
we will find our location that we just saved our mesh swap tutorial folder to. Go to custom meshes, baggy pants, baggy, or so I'm going to select this DAT file. So go ahead and open. That's all we have to do. Hit file save. Okay. Exit out of that. And now this window, we also need to make sure that we are saving. You can save to this, but for the, since I selected that vanilla file, I do want to keep it a vanilla file. So I'm actually going to select save as. I'm going to locate this file one more time just to get the file name. So I'm going to single click on it, step back, go into mesh swap file, and then now I'm going to save. So once that is saved, exit out. We're going to now locate this one more time. You can see mesh swap file. Now we have this base character universal file. So once we have this file saved, we are going to then drag it into our standalone Windows 64 folder. I will also link those down below or even on the screen here uh, to show you where those could be located. I do recommend keeping it quick pinned here um, just because it is much easier to you know swap meshes and textures later down the line. Um, because if you see here, all I have to do now is just drag this over to this folder, replace the file in the destination, and now I have successfully swapped the mesh. Um, but this is only the first step. So I do also need the texture. So I'm going to go back into my downloads, find these baggy DLC. And I am going to, for the sake of this, I'm just going to put it right here. I want to just swap out this first one. Um, actually, you know what? Let's just add them all because I, it doesn't really matter. They're all the same. All right, let's create a new folder. I'm just going to call it textures. You can do the same if you'd like. So that I can separate this. So this is the file that has the mesh swap on it. And then now these are the textures. So I'm also going to go ahead and just drag all of these in. Replace all of the in-game textures with the baggy mesh. Exit out. Minimize this. Let's launch the game. All right, so now that you can see we are back in the game. Check our pants. We now have the baggy mesh. Now it has replaced all of the DLC pant files. And there may be some others as well that use the same mesh. Yeah, like this 32 one replaces the same. This is not made for it. So you can see when the texture is not made for the mesh, there are some lines there down the side because the UV has been stretched. Um, yeah, these pants were not made for this specifically. So, um, but these have been. You see, they line up a little bit better. All right, Shredders, that wraps up our mesh tutorial from start to finish. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and that you're now ready to complete the process yourself. Um, as always, thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to give a thumbs up and leave a comment below letting me know what other tutorials you may like to see in the future. But until then, keep shredding.